Hi, story time friends. I am the mystery reader today and I am Jenna Noland, if you guys don't know who I am. Um, today, I'm gonna be reading a story called Sticks and it's about a stick who's feeling really sad because he doesn't know really where he fits in. So he's got some friends that are gonna try and help him figure out how to fit in and be happy. So here we go. This is Sticks, written and illustrated by Diane Elber. This story begins on a hot summer day when a cold, tasty treat began melting away. It was so very hot and it happened so quick. What once was a popsicle was now a stained stick. Deep in a puddle that was getting quite sticky, this sad little stick cried and felt rather icky. I should not have gone out when it was so hot. I was sweet and amazing, but now I am not. What can I do? This has all gone so wrong. I'm just a plain stick. Oh, where do I belong? Then Stick heard a voice from way up in a tree. Hello down there. You can come hang with me. I couldn't help hearing what you, what you have been through. My name is Twig and I'm made of wood too. Please do not cry and just listen to me. Before being a popsicle, you were part of a tree. There's so much in this world for you to explore. You will get through this and be more than before. Twig quickly jumped down from the very tall tree and said, Stick, there is something I'd like you to see. Sometimes things happen and the reasons aren't clear, but give it some time and the answers appear. She knew her friend Pencil could draw something grand Hopefully he could help Stick understand. I was once a stick too and nothing much more, but then one special day I got a gray core. I didn't know how to draw, so I swirled a nice line and then I discovered I'd made a design. And he says, you are amazing. Can't you see? I'm just a stained stick. My only talent was melting too quick. I cannot draw or do a fun trick. I'll always be just an icky, sticky stick. Twig knew she needed to show Stick even more, something amazing that he could not ignore. So they went to see Brush. He was once lost too, but now he could paint with red, yellow, and blue. Brush was a plain stick and nothing much more. Put one special day, he got bristles galore. Look at him now, look at all he can do. He easily made that fun splatter crew. It is true that what Twig said, I once was just like you. Please don't be afraid to try something new. I know you are scared, I can tell by your face, but it might take some time to find your right place. He says, we believe in you. Can't you see? I'm just a stained stick. My only talent was melting too quick. I cannot paint or do a fun trick. I'll always be just an icky, sticky stick. Listen to me, you are pretty great. Don't say I can't, say I can and celebrate. I know you have not been a plain stick before, you have the chance now to be something much more. Twig saw that Stick was still very upset, so she thought they should go back to where they first met. Back at the sweet puddle of sugary goo, Twig thought Stick might find a good clue. Then Twig looked up. It's been here all along. That little Stick house could be where you belong. Twig was excited. She ran up the tree and shouted to Stick, hurry up, follow me. Stick couldn't believe Twig had climbed up so high. I never climbed a tree and I'm too scared to try. 
Just then, a bluebird bird flew down to the ground and lifted Stick up without making a sound. The bird placed him gently in the last open space. Finally, Stick found his new happy place. This is where I belong. I can make art in a tree. It was quite a journey, but I'm glad to be me. Stick never forgot that one hot summer day and was glad that his popsicle melted away. He made some true friends and a beautiful tree art and learned it's never too late to have a fresh start. The end. So today, my challenge for you is to find a stick. Um, a lot of us have craft popsicle sticks. Come here, come show them. Popsicle sticks. Or if you have to go outside to maybe find a stick or a straw or something. And I want you guys to create something with these sticks that you find, whether it be like the example in the book where they used popsicle sticks, glue. glue. And if you can't use the regular glue, you can use hot glue. Mm -hmm. And paints. And they created a birdhouse out of popsicle paints. sticks. Thank you. <laughs> or you could just do a single stick and see if you could make a picture out of it, something like this. Like this. You could do it the same, but try to think of something different, and then you could, right, it's not a stick. It's a whatever you want it to be. Mm -hmm. Create rocket ships, create ladders, anything Ouch. you can think of that you could use a stick for. And I will look for all your guys' great ideas posted below. So happy stick making. Bye. Bye.